Thank you for the invitation. Good morning. The study I'm going to present, uh, the aim was to determine the, the clinical outcomes of uh, patient satisfaction following the bilateral implantation of uh, either a winter uh, standard range of vision uh, ion or a trifocal uh, ion. We have uh, nowadays uh, several trifocal diffractive uh, ions uh, commercially available since 2010. And uh, trifocals and implants, as you know, have become the benchmark for multifocality because they have demonstrated uh, very good uh, visual abilities at all distances and improved intermediate vision in compared with the uh, bifocals. Ah, sorry. Nowadays, we have also available, as we spoke uh, yesterday, the um, um, extended bit of fields. Uh, Lenses. At the moment of this study, the only one was the Symphony, uh, which offers a new optical technology for providing an extended range of vision. The Symphony ion uses a um, um, uh, um, diffractive optic to provide a single elongated focus. This uh, technology relies on a biconvex um, and um, a <laughs> biconvex wavefront. Uh, wavefront design anterior aspheric surface and a posterior uh, achromatic and uh, diffractive surface. It's not so evident. <laughs> we choose uh, as a joint focal the fine vision ion, which, uh, which uh, you all know very well, is a tetraloposphatic hydrophilic IOL um, that combines two diffractive profiles to uh, ameliorate distance and intermediate and distance and near vision. This technique symphony is a C loop IOA with two uh, optics, and this uh, diffractive technology compensates the chromatic aberrations, creating the deeper focus. So, phacoclusification uh, followed by a bilateral implantation of uh, fine vision or a symphony IO was performed. The Patients who demand a better good uh, vision in the intermediate and distance were implanted with the, fine, uh, with the symphony uh, IOL and the fine vision was chosen for the patients who wanted uh, very good quality of vision for near and distance. You can see the inclusion and exclusion criteria out of time. And these are the uh, outcomes that we are set up to one year possibility. Here you can see the mean by binocular and corrected distance, intermediate and near visual abilities. Binocular visual abilities with the fine vision iron and with the symphony were very good for uh, distance and intermediate, but uh, the uncorrected near visual ability for the symphony group decreased significantly compared with the fine vision group. In this slide, you can see the mean contrast sensitivity under photopic uh, conditions in monocular. Both uh, groups have a satisfactory uh, contrast sensitivity at uh, low and middle spatial frequencies, but um, contrast sensitivity were below the normal range at the high spatial frequencies. And as you can see, we obtained similar results in isolated conditions and we found no difference in both groups. This figure shows the results of the, of the, um, the focus group performed in both group of patients. We can see that there was a minimal decrease in visual acuity from distance to the intermediate uh, vision in the vertex of minus 1.5 and that there was no significant difference between 0 and minus 2. And in the symphony group, we saw um, a decrease in the near uh, range of vision. Uh, the presence of ALOS was uh, assessed also using the ALO B1.0 software. This test evaluated the discrimination of the peripheral stimuli in the presence of ALOS around the central stimuli. The index varies uh, from 0 to 1, so a discrimination index of 1 is the best discrimination possible. As you see, we have uh, very good uh, results with both uh, lenses, 
and no statistical uh, uh, significant difference. These uh, good results obtained with the fine vision may be uh, explained because of the number of diffractive steps that are lower than uh, if we compare this uh, implant with other lenses, uh, with other uh, diffractive lenses. And also, these um, uh, diffractive steps have the same ages. So, others are, are attenuated. In the symphony is not a multifocal lens, so there are few errors perception by the patient. And the correction of the corneal chromatic aberration results in a sharper focus and in combination a focus of light, sorry, and in combination with the correction of a spherical aberration, uh, we obtain a pretty good quality of the retinal image uh, without negatively affecting the deeper focus or uh, um, provoking the light disturbances such as allos and glare. We assess also the posterior capsular opacification. We found that 95% of patients in the 5 patient group has 0 PCO and only 5% uh, of patients grade 1. And in the symphony group, uh, uh, no patient had uh, PCO at one year because of the activity. A scientific survey was given to the patients in the one year of severity visit. This quality of life questionnaire was not uh, validated and only intended to assess patient satisfaction with visual performance and ability um, uh, daily task. Patients were asked to rate their uh, personal satisfaction after the surgery um, to rate from very satisfied to very dissatisfied. And we have 80% uh, of patients with a fine vision and 90% of patients with symphony were satisfied or very satisfied. <coughs> They were also asked about their spectacle use. Possibly, patients achieved uh, spectacle independence for this and an intermediate vision in both groups. And although the defocus group and the near uncorrected visual acuity showed that there was a difference between lenses, uh, finally, lower percentage of patients needed the uh, spectacle correction for, the, uh, for near vision. Um, in both groups, 90% well, of the patients answered yes when they were asked uh, if they would uh, have the same eye of implanted again. So to conclude, uh, both eyes provide excellent distance and intermediate visual outcomes. The fine vision ears uh, offer better near vision than the symphony, which also offers a, a satisfactory near vision. Neither typicality or extended range of vision lead to increase of the subject visual discomfort at the one year follow-up visit. And both IOS induce minimal photopic phenomena and give similar and good contrast sensitivity, providing good visual ability with the spectacle and dependence. In our opinion, the Symphony EO, uh, IOL is a good option for those patients who decide to have a good distance at intermediate and, the, um, and a distance and efficient for near. And the fine vision IOL is a good option for patients seeking good distance, intermediate, and near vision. Thank you.